Welcome back, finally, after 30 days here on Quad V. This weekend, I went out on Sunday, and I went to the golf club, and ironically enough, I completely and utterly lost my voice. Yes, I have been unable to speak. Yes, I have been unable to speak for four days straight, which essentially means that I have eight VODs to, <laughs> to upload today, well, to make today, even. And you have no idea how incredibly pissed I was when I found out that uh, that was the case. Get into the game, though. We can start out with Warcraft. I got three, four games actually lined up for you today, which are going to be uploaded uh, somewhere in the next uh, couple hours, as it's almost 8 o'clock local time. And you can probably hear a little bit in my voice that uh, I actually well, barely am able to to speak. Getting to the game though, it's Nova versus, uh, well, Lucifer. Uh, my versus, I need to check this, yeah, just versus Lucifer. As uh, it's uh, Nova as the, uh, as the, uh, as the undead. No, my apologies, Lucifer as the undead and Nova as the orc. So he comes out here and he's already got his Blade Master coming out now as well. My I have no idea what was up with that. I have a, had a really difficult night, let's just say that. He's actually pushing out a a early crypt and uh, Ultra Darkness as well, coming up with that Death Knight. So that's an uh, interesting move right there. Going a little bit earlier on that crypt could be going for uh, some early, uh, early aggression on that respect. And it's already getting those ziggurats up just to uh, get in the pace and as well as the Tom of Relics to keep the health up and going. Got a peon going around here for loose, uh, for. Uh, Nova, as he's going up for Burrow, and is already getting his first grunts out as well, and which we'll be using to creep out. However, 30 days has been uh, going fairly well so far. I've already managed to broadcast somewhere around six days, some six days or something along those lines. And uh, in all honesty, it's been going fairly well. Summoning as uh, Aside from the fact that I've lost my voice, but that's something that you cannot really uh, evade uh, um, the, at that respect. However, um, we'll try to get those in underway. However, I have gotten some news yesterday that StarCraft 2 beta will end in two weeks. Yes, it will end in two weeks, which means I will have to put my balls to the wall and actually produce content ahead of schedule to actually fill up the uh, 30 days. So we have 14 days coming out from that, so we'll come around 21. So we'll probably have to double up on the uh, VODs for war for StarCraft in the next period to actually get towards that 30 days and keep on continuing churning out that content for you to enjoy. Meanwhile, back to the game, we got... Uh, now you got Inferno already moving out here with that Death Knight. And he got his status up, really. What would you expect anything else? Narada Necromancy, uh, Goblins of Ogre Strength, which were dropped by the spa, the, uh, by the, uh, by the creep. And the Town Portal Scroll, which is really what you spawned on. Spawn out with more uh, ghouls coming out for him as he continues to creep up. On the other side, we've got the Blade Master coming out now as well. He almost likely has Windbok trained on towards his, uh, on towards his character. He's a little bit low, though. Man, you got a lot of aggro early on. He needs to watch out. He's having the 60. Losing him early on would not be much of a problem. We have these grunts here, and they're actually going to steal this uh, this hatchling. That is uh, that is curious. That is curious. We actually have the orc. Uh, uh, may not be able to get back early on. He's got a lot of damage, and he will need to use that healing salves and really not look, screws him over slightly in the middle of the battle. We got the hell. We got halls of death coming out now for. Uh, for uh, Lucifer, as uh, he is uh, going ahead, and Nova has not gone. For, oh, he's gone for T2. He's got a stronghold now as well, and he will most likely, considering it's only three minutes, four minutes into the game, expecting him to go for Raiders as well as Spirit Walkers. The really standard approach in this one, and it's, it's really a shame because what you see in StarCraft right now is that a lot of the players are still. Uh, being creative and just trying to move forward with new strategies and ideas and really what you have in Warcraft is standardized stuff which is a real shame considering you don't really uh, you don't really see true creativity here because a lot of stuff has been tried the game is eight years old so that is really a problem you have with uh, Warcraft uh, with Warcraft at this stage pure true creativity is not really there Meanwhile, Stronghold is uh, nearing completion. And the, the Halls of the Dead are coming out as well, and more Ziggurats are coming out. Do we have any... No, we don't. We don't have any Nerubian Towers, anything along those lines. So currently, just a Diff Knight, just 
trying to creep up a little bit using these grunts as uh, damage dealers and as well as these ghouls in, tr in tow, which is uh, interesting to say the least. And really siphons off his ability to uh, get his word out, but he does have a significant amount of ghouls on standby, which is uh, really great for undead. Baymaster level 2 has got critical strike going on. We'll be going after the uh, the ghouls. And so we actually have Lucifer aggroing the, the creep spawn. That is interesting. Why would he aggro the creep spawn there? Will he... Well, he's trying to get the aggro on towards the blade master, but that's not going to happen. He's already lost one ghoul out of that, and he wants to back up, back towards Some the uh, the blight. And the halls of the dead is going to come up very, very shortly. On the other side, we've got ourselves a spirit lodge and a bestiary. What can I say? And as well as a second hero, we've got a chieftain. That's a little bit out of out of normal bounds, but seriously, the spirit lodge and bestiary are the upgrade complete. are like. Like, like, you would go to a restaurant and get uh, get a Caesar salad. It is that basic. It is it is that basic strategy for Orc that really does it for them. And you cannot ignore how powerful it is. And now when they're going in conjunction with the Tauren Chieftain, and that could be problematic. He's going early with it, and he does not know yet what is going to happen. He's, there's a second, there's a graveyard coming up at the moment, and there is, ooh, ooh, there's a sacrificial pit plant. That is interesting. That is very, very interesting. It has been scouted out. He knows that it's there. Nova knows that there is a sacrificial spit in the Work map. Complete. And that could be very, very dangerous. Work very, complete. very dangerous indeed. Very, very early sacrificial pit coming out now. That could be extremely interesting. We're Creativity. Dare I say it. Spirit Walker is now coming out now as well on Nova's side, as well as the Raiders within Snare. Being resistant as well. He's not doubling up on those uh, uh, on those bestiaries yet, which could be a problem. Meanwhile, the uh, chieftain he's got himself a skull of speed and he's completely stacked with healing cells. Continue to creep up. And there's claws of attack. Great stuff on that on that blade master, especially if you can get that uh, critical strike up very to a very high level. And that modifier will do so much damage. It's it's just absolutely ridiculous. The Blade Master is actually getting nice. No, Death Knight was trying to get the aggro in on towards the uh, the Blade Master and trying to get away. He's almost on level three as well. Let's see what no what Lucifer is up to. He's only got himself a uh, well he's got unholy aura on him, which is really default. But Ooh, we have a shade. The shade is out, as well as a slaughterhouse and a black citadel is coming up now as well. Dare I say it? Dare I say boneyard? Dare I say a boneyard rush? It would be a very, very long shot and very, 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 very difficult to pull off. But it could be possible. It Our could be possible. Attack. As there's no air. Oh, aside from in combination with those raiders, though, extremely dangerous. Fortress now coming up now as well for Nova. It's more Somebody creeping is coming is out. Complete. Both sides are really Pushing forward to T3. That Black Citadel is now coming up. Our forces are under attack. Mm, very, very interesting. Very, very... That that early, that, that early sacrificial pit is not something you see every day. And we could be going for Frostworm with, with destroyers early attack. on. I don't think he's got enough gold for that. That could be... Extremely difficult. He's got about 300 gold, so it could be going pulling for an expansion somewhere nearby. But difficult, difficult, difficult. As the blade master is going for a little bit of a stroll, <laughs> he's almost on level three as well. If he, um, there's no, there's nothing here to defend these uh, uh, these acolytes. So there's no towers or anything. We finally have a lich coming out now for uh, for Lucifer. But oh, that is such a curious, such a curious build there. Very, very interesting. We got that sa sacrificial pit now is up as well. Are we going to see the boneyard? Are we going to see a boneyard? That is my biggest question. If you don't have any defense in the base either, a ghoul inside here could do some mad extreme damage to the peons if microed properly. But the chieftain is almost on level three as well. He's got a greater healing potion on him now as well. But this death knight is on level three, nearly level four. That additional level of death coil will do a significant amount of damage. We've got Orb of Corruption and Rod of Necromancy now coming out for the Lich. He's low, but what can you say? Right. Ghoul Frenzy. A ghoul stack, combination with the obsidian statues. 
Still no bone yards to be seen though. There's another shade is coming out. Research complete. But he's going for those ghoul ghoul attack. In all honesty, that is really what you like a, that's like a Zerg build. Very, very aggressive. Very, very aggressive. But very, very weak as well, especially for these raiders and oh, these grunts. Whether or not this is a good idea for this orc is a real question, because these ghouls are made out of paper. So the Lich is now up on the field. The uh, Obsidian Statues get, uh, get ensnared, and we got speed coming up now as well. It could be dangerous. These uh, ghouls will probably not survive very long. But they're going after the creep, as uh, one of the Spirit Walker actually went down. That's a bit of a shame on that respect. As this uh, Obsidian Statue will be going out. Ooh! Ooh, so close, so close. That great healing potion came in just in time from the Chieftain. They got it in on towards that uh, Blade Master as well. This Lich could be going down unless the Death Coil comes in. No, the Lich does come down. The only one's on level one, though, so that is not really a problem because he'll be able to come up back on the field, but the Death Knight will have to retreat. He does still have his uh, TP scroll in his hands and will be able to uh, come back, but these uh, ghouls are too, too weak to uh, be TP back. And meanwhile, we've got ourselves uh, obsidian statues coming out and more ghouls. What will we see? Anything else? The graveyards are still out as well. Looking on the other side of the map, we have that T3 coming out. We've got ourselves barracks and whole hole. Headhunters. Headhunters are coming out. Ranged units. Ranged units coming out now. Interesting. And berserker upgrade as well. Troll berserkers. That is... Interesting. Potion of invulnerability now on the chieftain. He, he, at level four, he's given it up towards the blade master, and he's got himself orb of lightning with that ranged attack. That potion of invulnerability will uh, do, will make him a force to be reckoned with. More. Well, we've got the shape, but it's in the back. And he'll need that to scout out, but he'll need to get his uh, lich to level two somewhere quickly. And this uh, this uh, sea turtle will die. There is the blade master. He was looking to get the creep jack. Could be going for it though. The Lich is now on level two. Playmaster cannot show himself. The sea turtle is almost down. Almost down indeed. He did not get dusted just yet. The sea turtle is important at this stage. Can we see him? Can I have mm, no, he won't. He will not go in for the jack. As the sea turtle, actually, the, ja the, the, the attack went on towards the obsidian statue. The chieftain is in. Is he going to go for stomp? He needs to go in for stomp if he wants to do some damage now and stun these ghouls. As uh, there we go, stomp comes in. These ghouls are all stunned. One ghoul could be going down. That's one down. There's another one here. No, that's a grunt. My apologies. This grunt, these ghouls are trying to get away. These ghouls are definitely going down. What's one down out for the count once again? Another one coming in. Oh, it is stunned nicely down on towards his Death Knight. Death Knight could be going in for Death Glory as the Chieftain just leveled up. You're going to have to level on Stump Moving as Destroyers are now up as well. This could be a problem. Although the Blade Master does have a ranged attack, but no Raiders on the field. The Raiders won't be able to take this Destroyer down. This Blade Master is in trouble. He has gone for the Potion of Invulnerability. Tries to go in for the attack. Is he going to do anything with that? Yes, here we go. With the upper, uh, we have the uh, Orb of Lightning coming in on towards the Destroyer. You're still involved. Need to watch out. Could be falling back now as all these skeletons are here with that rod, rod of necromancy. Still, this destroyer is down. Nicely done on that Blade Master. Very nicely you Very good use of that potion and vulnerability. Has to fall back now as well. As the army of uh, of Inferno has n is of Lucifer. My apologies. Is uh, is looking rather thin. He only has these uh, skeletal warriors, and most of his grunts did go down. And he's going to build more grunts. If I were him, uh, how much gold does he have? He does only have 200 gold. There it is. There is the boneyard. Boneyard is here. As uh, the blade, as the uh, deaf knight goes in for a potion, a scroll of healing on the other side of the map. What is going on? That is a significant army. Got a couple of troll berserkers out now as well. Nothing being researched to boot. They do have the uh, Berserker upgrade on towards the uh, the Troll Berserker now. And the ex first expansion is a fact. We have Nova going out for an expansion here on this gold mine. He's looking, looking, how much gold does he have here? 3,000. So he's looking to go in. How much food does he have? 50. 43, 39 versus 50. And at 41. Work complete.
the Great Hall is up, and his Boneyard is uh, up, going up as well. The Blade Master has scouted it out, and that is the big problems with that Blade Master. He will be able to scout out significantly. The, the Lich now, however, is on level three. He'll be able to do that damage. There we go. That's uh, that's not a turtle down. And uh, putting the uh, Lich almost on level 4, the, the Death Knight almost on level 5. That is one powerful Death Knight. Blade Master and Torrent Chieftain are both on level 4 as well. They've been heavily creeping, and they're holding out around this base for the moment. But his shade is here as well. And we don't have any observers in this uh, this perspective, so we'll put the need to put up some towers in order to get those down. We have Kodos. Kodos are being built, and more spear laws, more... Uh, the spirits of the yeah, Earth. Spear right. walkers are coming up. We're However... The Boneyard is here, and the Ghoul is here as well. Can Nova know that there's... No, he does not know. Nova does not know about the Boneyard. Does he have raiders? That is the question. Does he have raiders? I don't see any... Oh, I see one raider. Only one raider, but the, just the one raider is enough. Two raiders, even. So continue to creep. So, as, uh, Lucifer has decided to go out for the expansion, going after the Burrow. Trying to kill these peons as good as he can. The code of Obi-Kan and try to numb on one of these troops. If he's lucky, then he can get one of the high-level troops. The uh, burrow does go down. As, uh, the troops of in Lucifer have to fall back. Ready to work. The troll workers are doing a lot of damage here. Going after the Lich. The destroyers here as well. The disobsidian statue gets uh, ensnared. He gets taken down. The non obsidian statue here, which is most likely going to be primed before he can switch to heal mode as the Kodo Beast are continuing to do the damage plus two towards everything as uh, the Scale of the Warrior is going to go down not that much of a problem because they're thinking, well it is a Scale of the Warrior what can you do and up more and more of these players more and more of these units are going down the uh, Death Knight is actually stunned the Lich is not doing too good either although this Kodo could be going down this Kodo needs to be primary this stump comes in from Chieftain who keeps on going in with a lot of this damage Ooh, this could be problematic. This Lich needs to watch out. He's gotten to level 4 now. He's going... Oh, the Chieftain is down! Chieftain is dead! Oh, dear! The Chieftain is dead! Is that, this means... That it's just the Blade Master on the field now. Is Are we going to see... Why? He's just... He has this... Uh, he has the Boneyard up, but no Frost Worms up just yet. Uh, it's just this Raider he needs to take him out. As we have an expansion now coming out here as well. It's just this, uh, this walker here. Why he's not moving out the shade is a little bit beyond me. But we have more raiders coming out. And we have this, uh, we have this level four. This level four uh, Tauren Chieftain coming out now as well. Oof. That is problematic. So far... Lucifer is slightly owning up the map, but still not going for any Frostworms. Still not going for any Frostworms. we got a couple of Obsidian statues here, but what can you do? What can you do? More Ziggurats, probably going for Nerubian Towers quickly afterwards. we got a TP coming out. Ooh, the Stephano is low. Low, 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 low. Goes home. Back towards the uh, Blight and back to healing up. Obsidian statues are already on standby, ready to heal up. As this ghoul is toast. And there we go. That's the goal down. But its expansion has been saved. Summoning is complete. Summoning is complete. Was, uh, the Blade Master now almost on level 4. If he can get to level 6, he will have uh, Blade Spin. And if he manages to get get that, then uh, Lucifer will be in big, 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 big trouble. Because that is a lot of damage being dished out there. There we go. Frost Worms are being built. Do they have Freezing Breath, though? They'll need that freezing breath to take out the raiders as quickly as they can. Mm -hmm. These uh, versus these berserkers that could be problematic as well. We have the uh, yeah, we have these spare towers or new Rubian towers out now as well. They're trying to get these. Uh, they're trying to get the uh, the blade master. Does he have dust? No, he does not have any dust. Still has the same build as he had earlier with the potion of invulnerability on standby and the spirit walkers coming in to have a little bit of a party as well. We're 20 minutes into this game now. And it could still go either way. Both sides have got themselves an expansion as their gold mines are on the verge of running out. These BC areas and everything coming out now as well. 
Got a little bit of an engagement here just with these uh, Skelda Warriors. We have a maxed out uh, Windwalk character here. And as, uh, the Chieftain is on the verge of going to level 5. And there's Death Knight oh, almost on level 6. Ooh, the level 6 Death Knight. That could be extremely damaging. More ghouls coming out. More and more ghouls coming out. And we still have this uh, Frostworm being built. And we have, let's see here, 58 food worth of units. 58 food. And we have more Obsidian Statues coming out. So we could be looking at four possible destroyers. Let's take a look here at what we have uh, raider-wise. Two. Two, two raiders with a couple of range units to boot. Over here comes Lucifer. There's a shade to die. Oh, nice one. <laughs> they might take out one peon. With that death coil. And he's so close. He's so close to level 6. So incredibly close. And he's got himself frost armor on him. And frost Nova taking down that peon really did it for him. And here we go. There's two frost worms on the map. Not going for another other one. There's more acolytes are coming out now as well. Ooh, he wants to keep these secret. He wants to keep these uh, frost worms a secret so far. The damned. So, uh, Shade Art is out. And the Death Knight is here as well. More obsidian statues. Looks like he's going for a ridiculous amount of destroyers. This little army right here. Our gold mine has collapsed. That is very, very powerful right there. Let's see the gold mine on the other side. Uh, this gold mine only has 190 left. This gold mine has been depleted. We're under Maybe it will be time for the Death Knight to continue to uh, get out. The, this Ogre Lord is actually being taken uh, down now as well. The Chieftain will be going to level 5 very soon. He can get the Stomp in. Then again, you really don't want to use that kind of stuff on towards uh, creeps. There we go. Level 5, Torrent Chiefman. There we go. And a Tome of Strength as well. Oh, oh, oh dear. A Tome of Strength. And now we have a Cloak of Flames. On the late master, ooh, a pl the modifier and a chieftain is gonna. Oh, that is difficult. That is very, very powerful right there, as well as that cloak of flames. I, he's not gonna sell that. Definitely not gonna sell that. Additional ten damage per second is extremely valuable. And here we are. Destroyers are here. The frostworms are here. Here it comes. Did he find all the ghouls? Yes, he did. He pushed out all the ghouls. All the ghouls are coming in. Lucifer is looking to fi finish this engagement. They're going after a tower. Here we go. The party is on the way as Zanova knows what's going on. Where is it? Where are they? There are destroyers ready to go. Their first target will be the raiders. And there we go. Hello there, Nova. Say hello to my frostworms, baby. Here we go. One destroyer is down. We have some blight actually on the map being put down now as well. As we have a level 6 blight. Uh, Death Knight now on the field, and he's, he's pounding up this power as well, going after the uh, the Spirit Walk, he's trying to mitigate the power. There we go, one Berserker down, making sure that they cannot attack anything in the air. One Frost Worm down, this Kodo is next. We have all of these uh, animated dead uh, the creatures now on the map as well. Level 6 on towards that Death Knight. It's extremely, extremely powerful. This Lich is going to go down, but what can you do? Was, uh, the Lich is down, but the power is still here. The, fraud, the Death Knight is stolen up. He's almost on level 7 now as well. This Berserker is going to go down as this Kodo is not looking too good as well. With all these animated death creatures on the map now as well. There's the Blade Master is almost on level 6. He needs a little bit more. He needs a little bit more on the Blade Master. Can he get the little? Yes, he does. He gets the extra bit on the Blade Master. Come on. Yes, there it is. There is the Blade Spin. And he annihilates all of these, anim all of these animated death. Oh, dear. He can't get that damage in and he annihilates everything that is there. The frost worms are down and the destroyers are now on the floor as well. Oh my god, that was so close. Oh, these destroyers are being put down. This raider came into dust in time. Oh, wow. X um, <laughs> he completely comes in and that, that, that blade spin was all he needed to clean the field. But this Thrall Berserker is still here, and his Death Knight managed to heal himself up. And there's just two of these destroyers left, and they're doing so much damage. The Blade Master still with the Orb of, uh, of Lightning coming in. He's going to take out this one destroyer. There's other destroyers on the ground. He needs to take it out now. Can he take it out now? Yes. Oh, it's so close. It's like, 
as it just comes in co continuously with that death coil. That Blade Master is still on the field, and I'm on a fire of that cause of attack. It's doing something. Oh, another critical strike with 232. Takes out the destroyer, and out of Death Knight has to run away. Run away home, oh, Death Knight. Run away. Your assault was amazing, but that that blade spin came in just in time to take it out. Oh, the Lich comes in up in the field. Oh, wow. And the Blade Master goes down. Who saw that coming? Right on top of the tavern. Calls in the Lich. And the Lich takes down the Blade Master before he can heal up. Oh, wow. Absolutely crazy last skin men to play here. And now it's all the way turned back again. Oh, wow. The Death Knight is pulling it back. Pulling the Lich back on the field just in time. This is amazing. This is crazy! This is Sparta! Oh! The Chieftain is back though! Couldn't he get the stomp in? He needs to get the stomp in now! Oh! This is insanity! Absolute insanity! Alright, the, ensna the ensnare comes in onto oh, it's a Lich. If the Lich comes if the Lich goes down now, does oh he has enough mana for a death coil on towards the Lich. But oh my god, we have a speed coming up on towards the Torrent Chieftain. He has to stomp down now. So he has to go run away. The Chieftain is almost down. Oh, the Death Coil will be enough. No, it's not going to happen. If that Chieftain goes down, then it's curtains. It is Whitney curtains for Nova. As he can barely afford to get his Blade Master back on the field. Who lost a whole level. Oh, wow. Absolute insanity. Meanwhile... Oh, Lucifer has managed to get his uh, <laughs> an additional expansion out, but wow, wow, insane play at the end there. As uh, Lucifer is putting all his eggs, all his little eggs in a basket, and he's got himself a TP scroll. He had an invulnerability potion for a while. He gave it up towards a lich. Oh, wow, and he's going after the expansion now. And there's, an, oh, <laughs> This is crazy, man. I haven't been tripping like this since I've been in Vegas. This is amazing. Wow. And here I was at the beginning of the match saying, hey, there's not much originality going on anymore. It's all standard play. Damn, I've been proven wrong. Ho -ho. Right on top of that tavern with the Lich just in time and new king. Absolutely annihilating that Blade Master and putting him back to square one. He's almost a level eight, that Death Knight. Insane! Insane levels onto lower to Death Knight. Are we gonna see more? I'm I'm just absolutely absolutely exhilarated here. And we're gonna see ooh, more obsidian statues, more destroyers. As this Death Knight is just running around, taking kicking ass, taking names, and more sacrificial pits coming out. Two, three, two additional sacrificial pits. What is he going to do with those? That is curious. As one expansion is being raided now, this chieftain is coming in. And he will be going up the level. Ooh, they're just unsummoning all the stuff here now. But <laughs> Damn. Crazy, crazy play. Crazy play. I thought it was over right there. If that torrent had gone down, if that chieftain had gone down right there and then, then it would have been over. It would have been curtains, Sela. It would have been the last man standing. Insane play, insane play. Ooh, <laughs> this uh, raider just got nuked. And it does manage to uh, ensnare the uh, the lich. Ooh, and the blade master is back, and that is a level six blade master. Invulnerability potion just in time on the witch. He is lich. He is in fact a. Uh, a scrap of paper, a scrap of very wet toilet paper running around. And we have watch awards. Oh, wow. Did I miss something here? I think I did. I think I missed witch doctors. I think We're I... S attack. Yeah, I did miss witch doctors. Where are they? We have another expansion coming down here. Where is that witch doctor? Or did he just buy the... Uh, I think he did. I just bought. He just bought them anyway. Ooh. Crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. That was one hell of an engagement. So this game is. Oh, there we go. It's, mm, I don't know. I don't know if that's a good move right there. He'll be low on mana, and he's just on some of the building the boot. Ooh, that is. Ooh, the, mm, the blade master could be going down. 
He has only one out. Yeah, the Blade Master is dead. And now the Torn Chieftain is here. The good game is called by Nova. Wow! Absolutely insane! Wow! Whoo! Lucifer Nova here. I've been out of the game for like four days now, for 30 days. A game of 29 minutes, and it just and it just mid game, late game, it just goes like that. I am in. <laughs> that is just ridiculous. Seriously, what the hell? Lucifer versus Nova. We're going on here in Quad Bay for 30 days. We've got three more games of Warcraft, but if it, can, it, it can only go down here from here on. Seriously, if it goes up here from here, I, if it goes up, if, if, if things get better than this, I'm going to orgasm like six times in a row. It's that crazy. We'll be right back with you here on Quad Bay.